Hello, 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 Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So today we are doing this wall. So get ready for that. It is amazing. Um, but before we do, please like, subscribe, hit that bell. As always, thank you for watching. Now, let's get started. That is beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> okay. Just a couple of little points here. One, this is Bare Premium Paint and Primer, um, so Premium Plus. Um, it is Blue Express is the name of the color. Um, I guess the other thing that you need to know, if you can't see, I guess if you can see like the edge going close to this door, um, I'm not going all the way to the edge because I have a two inch strip. I'm doing a border all the way around. So I don't need to get close to the edges where I would normally bump the top or the side wall anyway. So this is good for me. Um, so I am just keeping like an inch right before the wall connects either to another wall or the baseboard um, where I'm not painting that because it's going to be covered anyway. So why waste that paint? So just wanted to give you guys those little tips and I'm gonna get back to work because I got a lot to do. So as you know, I love my power tools, but even backing up before this, here I am cutting them down to size and Robin is helping me paint them um, the correct colors. But you need to know we got the MDF shelves like we did in my last video. So take a look at that video um, if you wanna know exactly what shelf. Um, and we cut them into five strips and then we painted them. So that is where we start. Okay, so just a couple of things here. One, I am using my stud finder to go along her wall and find where the different, different studs are. Um, and in doing this, I'm just making a little mark on the wall so that as I begin to add the trim, which I'm going to start doing here at the bottom because like I said, I'm, I am framing out that wall. So the whole outer of parts of the wall have trim on them and those places where I found the stud is definitely where I'm trying to hit with my nailer. A new nailer, y'all. I know I was excited about that as well. So, but as you can see, I'm just going along the wall and you can see I'm looking up because I'm looking for where those marks are so that I can hit the stud so as you can see I'm feeling good about myself and I've gotten a few of the boxes up of the pieces of trim so from here basically I found the center of the wall and then found the center of my the center of my center box and that's what I worked from so um, I did make myself a few different spacers. One to give me the space between each of the boxes, um, the other to give me the space between the top and the bottom of the boxes and the beginning of the first piece of trim that goes all the way across. And as you can see right here, I'm using a spacer to um, put up the other trim pieces as I go along the wall. So super excited about that. I'm holding that spacer in my hand, just so you can see. Um, so just continuing that process, I had to cut another piece of a piece of trim to finish that line. And as you can see, I just put two spacers in. And from that, that helps me to make sure that it's even with what's already there and it's a level. So um, I'm using my new nailer, which I was very excited about. I got the Ry Ryobi um, nailer that I will have down in the description box below. But super excited about that thing because you didn't need that loud air compressor um, to do that. And I'm also reminding you that you are not alone. We are in this together, boo. We're going to figure this thing out. Um, so as you can see, I popped myself up on that ladder. And now I'm just kind of putting pieces in different places and seeing how I like them. And, you know, um, giving it that accent of the gold on top as I have the blue down at the bottom. 
and from there I go straight into um, we need thought the boxes needed a little bit more so I just put a box inside of a box and then had those little legs going off of each side so um, just to give you a better look at what I was doing as you can see I cut all four pieces of the box um, so you see here I got two kind of propped up there because I'm still trying to make sure that they're even um, so I then take all four of those pieces as best I can to get them to hold up there um, and make sure that they're even and looking correct because we don't want nothing crazy on nobody's wall um, so but I put all four pieces in there and then I just kind of shift it around until it feels right for me um, and as you can see I have used a spacer to help um, and I'm using that as my guide for my other spacer so that I can pop that in there and then that way I'll know what it's looking like so um, definitely the spacers was a great help once I got it to where I wanted it again I'm using my Ryobi nailer to pop it in place and get it to where it needs to be so just a process like it you know I think this you go through these videos and it looks like oh you just pop it up there like that but figuring out where's the center you know is this even does it look even next to the next one is it level so those are all things that you have to think about when you're going through this process but once you do like it just turns out so good so again um, this is where I'm talking about like when you're using your nailer you may not hit everywhere that there's a stud but you know um, it's in there you know and it's not going anywhere so for the last part of this is just doing your wood filler and then painting over it once it's dry sanding it and painting over it once it's dry um, I did try to do a little bit of different design at the bottom where I did the gold at the bottom and at the top which I kind of like now that I'm looking back on it but I end up going with just the gold at the top so this so tell me what you guys think would you have left the gold at the bottom let me know and here's our before and here is our after as always please like subscribe and hit that bell and you know i had to throw robin in there our happy customer